I do, Kayla. That is so oh, cool. Sorry. Oh, yeah. He's eating right from her finger. Wow. Oh, man. I wonder if he can actually get on my finger and actually eat. Look at that. Oh, oh don't oh. go away. Oh, oh. Oh, there he goes. Hello, welcome to Martin Made, and welcome back to the third installment of a beekeeper's vlog. So this year, our bees are doing amazing. Some of it has to do with it's one hive and the numbers are really big right now. We are hoping before the summer is out, we are gonna to try to separate the hive. So basically, um, we're going to take part of the bees and put them into a new hive and start a new hive. And so we'll have two hives by next year. This is something we're really hoping we can get done this summer because it will help next year's harvest as well. So we have just a lot of bees and so our harvests have been great. We have collected twice and once in July and then by the time you see this video it is August but this is our first harvest. Um, usually your first harvest is a lighter lighter taste in honey so you'll have usually a lighter color like this and then in the fall it's usually a darker color now depending on the area you are in and what flowers are available to the bees at the time will be mostly what color you're gonna get out of it and what flavor you're gonna get so we have this is our first collection from the honey uh, from the bees um, this collection we got about 50 pounds of honey um, the second collection that we got is this one. Okay, look at the colors here. See how they're just just slightly different? It's hard to hard to even tell. But there is a slight difference in color. This one is slightly darker. This is our second collection. This one we got 75 pounds of honey three weeks after our first collection. That is a huge amount of honey. It's just we have so many bees, and so we're hoping this is really probably our last collection for the year, just because we want to split the hive and they they need to build up stores for winter. So um, there's a certain point that we cut off collecting honey because they need to have stores for winter so they can survive the winter. Let's get started on the video. Before we do, I'm going to say my ending here. If you are new to this channel. Um, you can hit that red subscribe button down below. For those of you who enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I hope you enjoy. Bye. So starting off, we headed out to the hive and we picked up all the frames that had honey in them. This is what a frame looks like when it's full of honey. This is all capped and good to go. It'll look kind of white on the outside. Wanting back in their home, we're putting them all behind in there. Oh, all going in. So when we collect honey, we will take the frames and we'll take this comb-like tool and we will start scraping off all of the caps from each of the cells of the frame and then we will take the frame and we'll put it in a spinner. I'll show you the spinner in just a minute. But there's two different ways that you can do this. You can do it this way and preserve the frame and reuse the frame. It makes it much easier on the bees or you can completely take apart the whole frame now it makes it much harder on the bees, they have to work much harder to get 
the frames put back together. So we choose to just preserve the frame as much as possible and then spin it out. This is our spinner. We put a few frames in at a time and I think you can do about eight at a time and you just spin it and spin it and spin it and then turn the frames around and spin it some more and when you do you have honey that comes pouring out of the cells. Now we strain it because we want to keep any of the wax particles and the capping particles out of the honey. Now we do not pasteurize our honey so we just go right ahead and start bottling it. They're all the jars that we have for filling. You think we'll fill all of them? Or most of them? Probably. Yeah. We got a lot of honey. These are all the cappings. This is what's on the outside that seals it. 